and welcome to this Study Gurus video. I'm Claire and in this video I'm going to be talking about how to better prepare for your science exams. Now the study techniques that I'm talking about in this video aren't unique to preparing for science exams, but I think when it comes to science these techniques deserve a special mention. Okay, first tip for preparing for your science exams. We think it's really important to approach your study for your science subjects uh, with a multifaceted approach. What do I mean by this? All we mean is we think it really helps to build a better understanding if you study using a range of different study techniques. Science subjects tend to be highly conceptual. They've got, you know, high level concepts that can be really difficult to wrap your head around and intangible concepts, you know, um, how an atom works, how forces act on an object, what the deal with electricity is, how cells work. Coming to grips with a highly conceptual topic can be really hard if you only use one study technique to do that. So for instance, if you're wanting to come to understand the different uh, physical properties of different elements in the periodic table, that might be a tricky one to come to terms with if all you do is read about it. You're going to improve your understanding of the different properties of different elements if you not only read about them but if you watch videos on it and if you write study notes about it and if you can somehow draw diagrams that explain the differences uh, of the different properties of different elements. You're going to give yourself such a better and full round understanding of topics if you approach study in this way because you will have learned about topics um, via different media and different media are going to help you better understand different parts of a topic. Utilizing different study techniques to come to understand a topic is also really going to help with your memory retention because you're going to give yourself uh, more opportunities to remember different parts of your study. So for instance, you might like to start by studying for a topic by having a quick read about it in a textbook, but then you might like to watch a video about how something works and you know, particularly if you're a visual learner, you might find that you can remember the content of the video more easily than you can what you read in a book but the combination of those two study techniques is going to make your study really solid and really help your um, understanding of the topic and certainly with your memory retention of the topic. So what I'm trying to say is that science has a lot of highly conceptual topics in it and they can be really hard to understand and it can be a lot easier to understand tricky topics when you um, approach your study using a range of different study techniques. You're basically going to give yourself more of a chance of understanding how that topic works if you try and learn things in different ways. The second thing we think it's really important to do to understand your science subjects well and adequately prepare for science exams is to apply what you're studying during your exam study. What do I mean by apply? I mean that you need to study in a way that means you're prepared to answer exam questions. So an example that I find really helpful to explain what I'm saying here is, let's say you're studying biology and in the exam this semester, you know that the topics of mitosis and meiosis are going to come up. So cell division. Don't worry if you haven't studied these before, I think you'll still understand what I'm saying. Meiosis and mitosis are the two different types of cell division. They have some similarities and they have some really important differences. Now an exam question is never going to simply ask tell me about mitosis and meiosis. An exam question is going to ask something like, explain the differences between meiosis and mitosis. So knowing that the exam question is gonna be something like that, make sure that you study in a way that prepares you to answer that type of exam question. It's not gonna be enough to get a really good grade if you simply know the steps of both processes. You want to study in a way that makes you really understand the differences between them. So one study technique to do that might just be to prepare a table with two columns that lists the steps of meiosis and mitosis and then somehow draws attention to the differences. And then you might practice writing a few paragraphs that explains in more detail the differences between the two processes. So you see, studying in that type of way is doing more than just reading or watching. It's a way of studying that makes sure that you're applying what you're learning so that you're basically getting prepared to answer the exact type of questions that are likely to come up in your exam. This goes back to science subjects generally being quite 
conceptual and it being really important to apply what you know about those concepts to a specific type of question. A science exam is going to expect more from you than just regurgitating facts about certain science topics. It's going to expect you to really understand what you've studied. And that means that your study needs to be more analytical in the way that I've described with the meiosis mitosis example. Now, apart from making sure that you're studying in this applying sort of way, the other thing that is really helpful for exam study and potentially super obvious already, it's to go over past exams and practicing answering the questions that have come up in previous years. And it's to get an exercise book that has lots of practice questions in them so that not only are you revising, but you're practicing answering the types of questions that are gonna come up in exams. As I said earlier, your science exams are going to expect you to really apply what you've learnt. And so answering practice questions and going over past exams is such a great way to do this. Because chances are the types of questions that are going to come up in your exam this year are going to be incredibly similar to the types of questions that have come up in previous years and the types of questions that are put in practice question books. Now one more tip about science study before I go, and this is to make sure that you go back to basics when you need to. Because science topics can be quite hard to wrap your head around, it's really important that you have a good understanding of the basic principles before you move on to the harder stuff. A lot of the time I find that students are confused about a science topic, and when you dig a little deeper it's because they don't understand a more basic topic that the harder topic relies on them understanding first. For instance, a common topic to come up in chemistry is acids and bases, and in order to understand how acids and bases and work and what the difference is between them and what their different properties are and all of that, well, in order to come to terms with all of that stuff, you really need to understand the structure of an atom and an ion and because those are the building blocks of acids and bases. So if you're confused about your science subjects when you're studying for exams, ask yourself, is it because I don't understand this? And is that because I don't understand kind of one of the precursor topics to this larger topic? If that's the case, do yourself a huge favor and take a break and go back and revise the more basic topic first, because when you come back to the harder topic, it's going to be so much easier to wrap your head around. So that is our study tips about studying for your science exams for today. Just remember that yes, uh, science subjects can be quite hard and challenging, but rest assured, there are things that you can do to simplify the process and approach your study in a systematic way. Even if you don't really like science or they're your hardest subjects and you're dreading the exam, I really hope that these tips help you get your science study on the right track.